In today's lesson, we'll be learning about interpolation and extrapolation with a focus on equations. In a previous lesson, we extrapolated the number of blocks in figure 3 and we interpolated the number of blocks in figure 2. You may have also noticed the rate of change was an increase of 4 blocks for every 1 figure. The initial value is also 1 block, since that is the number of blocks in figure 0. We did the exact same thing with a table of values. We extrapolated the number of blocks in figure 3 and we interpolated the number of blocks in figure 2. You may have also noticed the rate of change was an increase of 4 blocks for every 1 figure. Furthermore, the initial value here is 1 block, since that is the number of blocks in figure 0. Again, we did the exact same thing with the graph. We extrapolated the number of blocks in figure 3 and we interpolated the number of blocks in figure 2. You may have noticed the rate of change to be an increase of 4 blocks for every 1 figure. Furthermore, the initial value is 1 block, since that is the number of blocks in figure 0. Based on what we just saw, a pattern can be represented with a diagram, a table of values, and a graph. However, it can also be represented with an equation, y equals rate of change multiplied by x plus initial value. We already determined the rate of change to be an increase of 4 blocks for every 1 figure. 4 over 1 is the same thing as 4 divided by 1, which is the same thing as just 4. Therefore, the rate of change can be simplified to just 4. Moreover, the initial value is 1 block, since that is the number of blocks in figure 0. Therefore, I can write 1 as the initial value. So this pattern can be represented with the equation y equals 4x plus 1, where y represents the number of blocks, and x represents the figure number. That brings us to an important question. Can we use an equation to extrapolate and interpolate? We most certainly can, and I'll be showing you how to do that in a second. If you recall, extrapolation is really just a prediction. It is a prediction that occurs beyond what you already know. Think of extracurricular. Extracurricular activities occur beyond school hours. Let's say I want to extrapolate the number of blocks in figure 3. Since x represents figure number, I can replace it with the number 3, and I'm going to put it in brackets. Everything else stays the same. Using bed mass, I need to multiply before adding. Therefore, 4 times 3 is 12. And afterwards, I'm going to add 12 and 1, which is equal to 13. Therefore, the number of blocks in figure 3 is 13 blocks. You'll notice that this matches up with the extrapolation we did with the diagrams, the table of values, and the graphs. If you recall, interpolation is really just a prediction. It is a prediction that occurs between what you already know. Think of international. International flights occur between different countries around the world. Let's say I want to interpolate the number of blocks in figure 2. Since x represents figure number, I can replace it with the number 2, and I'm going to put it in brackets. Next, you need to use bed mass, which means you're going to multiply before adding. So 4 times 2 is 8, and then 8 plus 1 is 9. Therefore, Figure 2 contains 9 blocks. You'll notice that this matches up with the interpolation we did with diagrams, the table of values, and the graphs. 